I think what makes Muir Wood special and uh, what makes it uh, one of the most effective treatment programs out there are a number of things. Um, one is we are gender separate. And by being a gender separate program, it allows the boys um, a, a place of safety, a place of vulnerability to really talk about the underlying issues. Um, we see addiction and drinking and drugging as a symptom of an underlying issue. Unless you treat those underlying issues, you really don't get to the substance use. And so having a small, individualized, gender-specific treatment environment allows the boys to feel safe, to engage in those sensitive issues, and really feel that they can talk about those underlying issues and really get to those issues. And we only treat uh, 10 boys at a time. And so we're very small, we're very individualized. The boys are assigned a primary therapist, a licensed primary therapist who sees them at minimum two times a week. They're assigned a licensed therapist who works with their family individually. Um, they have a psychiatrist that they see every week. They have a neuropsychologist that they see every week and who also does a battery of neuropsych assessments. They have a nurse that sees them every week and then Dr. David Smith, our chair of addiction medicine, who's an icon in this field, uh, who also had a son who struggled with substance abuse. Um, they see Dr. Smith um, for, for family work. And so um, being a small program, being gender separate, um, and also um, having a strong academic component. We have a master's level, uh, multiple subjects, state of California credential teacher, and an accredited curriculum. And the boys are in school Monday through Friday from eight until noon. And so they're able to keep up with their academics while they're going through this highly individualized residential treatment program. I think Muirwood sits in one of the most beautiful settings um, in, in the nation, in, uh, Sonoma County, California, Northern California. And, it, and it's purposeful that, we, that we're, we're there. We sit on six acres. It's a very inviting property. I always invite parents to tour our facility um, before they admit their child. Uh, to come on a Saturday, to meet other parents, to see some of the other kids that are in treatment, to meet the staff, um, and, and to see the setting because it is a beautiful setting. And I think that is also helpful with the adolescents that come to us because nobody wants to go to treatment. But when they walk through that front door and they see the six acres in the back and, and the rolling hills and, you know, their defenses just drop and they open up for the treatment experience. And I think that really helps, you know, as an adolescent myself, um, uh, coming from a long line of uh, alcoholics, um, my escape was uh, in nature. Uh, surfing, rock climbing, hiking, and just basically getting out in nature itself. And so John Muir was, uh, was an icon, was a hero of mine when I was growing up. And so when I had the, uh, the ability to create uh, an adolescent program in Northern California, um, it just seemed uh, common sense to name it uh, Muirwood. Also, John Muir, when he was a young man, um, in his early 20s, um, he worked uh, uh, in an industrial line. And a lot of people don't know, but John Muir was um, blinded. Um, and basically blinded for weeks on end. Um, and he vowed to himself that if uh, he was able to regain his eyesight, he would uh, do something that he was passionate about, which was um, uh, working in nature and becoming the nation's first environmentalist. And so um, I see a lot of analogies toward, with adolescents who um, are uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol, and if they can just get free from the bondage of uh, drugs and alcohol, then they, um, much like John Muir, will be able to um, forge a path and do something that they're passionate about.